time to introduce the sitters. Artist, your sitter is one of Scotland's most distinguished actors. He's as comfortable playing Edinburgh detective Rebus as he is a dwarf from Middle Earth. Please welcome Ken Stott. Having started out with the Royal Shakespeare Company, Ken Stott's 40-year career has earned him three BAFTA nominations, two Scottish BAFTA wins, and a Laurence Olivier Award. Ah, how do you feel about sitting here all day? We've got lines to rehearse. I was astonished to hear that uh, people bring phones and sandwiches, wallets. <laughs> I'm here for you, you know. I try to do my best to stay alert and not fidget. OK, it's all right. <laughs> Have you done it before? I've done it before, a couple of times. Was the artist happy with you? The artist was happy, I'm glad to tell you. I should say, I, I had a sneezing fit yesterday and I got a bloodshot eye. Mm. Right. So I thought the only way around this is if I point my face this way and look to you. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be OK with you? We want to make sure that you're not going to be moving. Are you comfortable? I'm that? comfortable with that. OK, Ken. Ready. Good luck, oh, everybody. Dad. Thank you Thank very you. much. Please, what I wanted. Which um, is what? A characterful face, quite a lot of wrinkles. And... Wrinkle. I'm not saying that Ken's wrinkly, but he's sort he's of... He's got a characterful face. He's yeah, got a absolutely. characterful face. Yeah. He's just a dream. <laughs> You're a dream, Ken. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's discipline. He's not even moving his no. mouth to speak. He's great. What do you make of Ken as a sitter? I think they've got an opportunity to really zone in on him here with this strong, intense, veined white marble behind him. And I think it offsets him very nicely. Such a characteristic actor. It's a matter of whether they'll catch that or not. We want to see character in the paintings of Ken today, definitely. I have an obligation to help the artist by delivering a character. If I'm not here for them, then it's just a lump of flesh. And that's, that's more difficult than you might think because I started with an attitude and after a while you forget what that attitude was. Now what about our friend Ken Stock? All three artists in Ken's section have really picked up on the mm. weightiness of the head. I think Christos has really captured Ken extraordinarily well. Mm. And there's two macho men, there's some <laughs> energy, but I think it's making him a very good portrait. Titus has given Ken a slightly more delicate appearance. Mm. It's quite hard to see um, the delicacy of what I think is so exactly Ken, which is that twinkle in his eye. I think I'm always quite struck by his nose. I'm going to go look harder for the twinkle. He's got a substantial nose. Yeah. He's got a substantial twinkle as well. Right. <laughs> but you obviously know another side to him, Joan. Well, perhaps I do. I'm used to working with crowds, people gawping. These things don't faze me. It's awful to see three artists under the cosh, but I'm enjoying it. If I could just move for a moment. Yeah, that's better. deal is over how has it felt you have to concentrate you can't really afford to be absent because it transfers now your wife's an artist yes so she presumably is. she's painted your portrait uh, no she has not <laughs> and I can assure you she's going to now <laughs> <laughs> well now this is the moment yes. artists turn round your easels <laughs> oh Oh, wow! <laughs> How can the three be so good? <laughs> I can see me everywhere here. <laughs> <laughs> to deliver something like that in such a short time is extraordinary. Oh, thank you. This is close to what I thought it would be because there's passion in there. I love this. I really, really do. I think you managed to capture when I was away somewhere. <laughs> but that's not a bad place. <laughs> that's great. It's great. <laughs> well, now, it's the moment where oh. you have to choose one. Oh. And I think it'll be this one. Oh. Thank you very much, Ken.